sustained and aspiring men and women who are audaciously abusing our Constitution, endangering our country's future, and bankrupting our children and grandchildren. Benjamin Franklin saw these vain and aspiring men coming, and they're here. They've been here a long time. I look at the average age here, and it's no surprise that the federal government created the Department of Education under the Carter administration. And since then, there's been a loss of knowledge of what this country was created to be. We weren't created to take care of our people. We were created to take care of ourselves. We were created to be a place where we create wealth, not where government holds our hand and treats right. us like infants and at the same time makes us slaves. We will not be silently sold into this slavery of socialism where we will get the minimal to keep us going to work another day. It's not an even exchange. Our liberties for health care that reality shows us doesn't work out like the promises make. The Congressional Budget Office has a terrible track record on predicting costs. And our government will keep spending and keep spending and keep spending until we stop them. we got to do it now. So, if they won't see us, maybe they'll hear us. Let's all stay together. Some, a message for He Schuler and Harry Reid. No, no, I'm sorry, Nancy Pelosi. Who else is in the house that I just love? Charlie Wrangle. Yeah. <laughs> Let's sweep the house. Amen. Yeah. And then we have our friends in Congress who we also want to send a message. In fact, they created the message. These are Nancy Pelosi's words before the last election. Let's say it loud so she can hear them. Let's play the <laughs> yeah. So I want you to start a rhythm here. When I hold this up, we're going to yell it. When I hold this up, we're going to yell it. Universal message. We'll vote.